Welcome to the lesson. We're going to talk about the hands today. And this is a lesson that uh, I've been wanting to do for a while now. There's just a couple of topics that I wanted to get out of the way first. But this lesson here is the most important lesson on my entire channel. And um, I really wanted to get into detail about this particular topic, which is the hands. We're going to talk about the hands today in, in some, some good detail. This lesson is going to be for, especially for uh, beginner drummers, intermediate drummers, and, uh, and anybody else that just wants to improve on their hands. Now you hear a lot of drum teachers talk about the idea of having a loose grip when you play. You'll see them briefly demonstrate it and then they'll tell you, yeah, you know, make sure you have a loose grip and then they just kind of jump to the next topic. And I'm like, wait a minute here. The fact of the matter is having a loose grip is critically important. And it's something that, uh, that really shouldn't be jumped over because there are far too many reasons, super important reasons why you should always have a loose grip when you're playing. Now I'm just going to take a second and give you a disclaimer. This is going to be a lengthy video. Maybe, I don't even know. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm just going to talk until I'm finished giving you my points. So it might be long, whatever. If you're not into long lessons, go ahead on and skip it. I'm sure there's something on TV you can check out. But for the rest of you guys that want to know why you should always have a loose grip, grab yourself a beverage and check out this lesson. Now, I always like to get into the habit of recording myself when I play on video. You know, I just set up a, uh, set up a GoPro or something and then just record myself, film myself playing for a little bit. And it's really just for spot check, you know what I mean? Making sure everything's cool and checking my posture and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, live videos as well. Like if there's any live footage, I just like to watch and observe and, you know, make sure everything's doing what it needs to be doing. Now, upon observing myself while I'm playing, there's a couple of different things that I noticed about my posture. And this is all having to do with the topic, which is the hands. Now, <clears throat> I noticed that uh, when I play, everything seems to happen from right here. All right, so my elbows are tucked in and, you know, I'm just sort of trying to sit up nice and straight. And everything just kind of happens from right here, right? So there's no crazy arm movements unless I'm, you know, going to hit a crash or something like that. But for the most part, this is home base. This is where I'm at, right? And I just seem to play from the wrists and I can just really comfortably just sort of throw my hands around the kit very easily, very comfortable. Like this doesn't hurt at all. And a lot of it happens from the wrist. Now I've been playing like this for a very long time. And you know, when I was thinking about why I sound how I sound, I just come to the conclusion that that's why. The big secret to sounding smooth 100% of the time is having a loose grip on the stick. That's the only way to do it. When you watch drummers like, you know, Steve Gadd, Benny Greb, uh, Greg Bissonette, like all of the smoothest players out there, you'll notice that they generally use a super loose grip when they um, when they're getting around the drums. You don't see a lot of this stiffness and stuff happening. And I really like I like to use Benny Greb as an example because he's that's he's one of the smoothest cats you'll ever hear on a set of drums. And you can just tell by watching that he's totally relaxed. He's really comfortable, but it's all happening from right here. So it's super, super important that you have a loose grip and that you know how to use your wrists and your fingers when you're playing the drums. Now I'm going to plug two other videos on my channel 
that, um, that you can check out after you see this one. One of them is how to develop a killer match grip, and the other is um, about the three gears, the three gears that we use um, when we play the drums. So I believe it's called, you know, Know Your Three Gears or something like that. It's on my channel. Check it out. But anyways, um, those we'll get into a little bit more detail about some of the things I'm going to cover. But here's my thing right now. Let me show you this thing. Remember in the last video I told you? It's hanging in there, man. This hasn't snapped yet. I'm going to continue to use it until it breaks. Um, but I'm going to just show you briefly what my match grip is, particularly in my, um, my right hand. In both hands, really. But um, I'll show you in my, my right hand here. I used to be one of these guys, right? So my fulcrum, the fulcrum for you guys that don't know, is the, um, the point on the stick where you get the balance and the rebound. Um, I used to be the one that uses my index finger and my thumb. So this used to be my, my fulcrum here. I recently changed to the middle finger. So this is where I'm at right now. And I just found that, you know, the range of motion for me just feels better when I use my middle finger. So that really sort of, for me anyway, uh, just kind of freed up the stick for me. And I have a much more sort of controlled range of motion. And it loosened up my grip severely when I switched that. So this literally is my grip. This is my whole grip. These last two fingers are touching the stick. And, you know, my index finger is now pretty much unemployed, like it's not really doing anything anymore. It just kind of acts as a guide for the stick. But this is literally my grip, man. This is all it is. And this is how loose my grip is. It's two fingers. And, like I said, the other fingers are just kind of touching the stick to, um, to help to guide it. So everything just kind of feels better for me with the middle finger because, you know, I get... I'm really able to work the stick comfortably from this point. So that's my loose grip. And when I get around the drums, man, like I don't even feel it. Like it, there's always a sweet spot. And it just feels a lot less... Um, it, it, it just takes a lot less effort for me now to get around the drums since switching to that grip. So let's get into the important reasons why you should always have a loose grip when you play. The most important, and the one I'm going to start out with, the most important reason is that it eliminates or very severely reduces the chance of injury to your hands when you play. So there's a lot of drummers out there that, um, you know, just, just a few years into their playing, develop hand problems, carpal tunnel, stuff like that. And it's because they're, you know, they're holding their sticks like hammers. You know what I mean? And there's all this tension happening here. And when you do that, you really just kind of open yourself up to a bunch of injury. So you don't want to hold a stick so tight that you're tense all of the time. Having a loose grip prevents that kind of thing. Like there's, there's really almost no chance of you sustaining any kind of physical injury as a result of holding the stick. Now you can try this with me if you want, but if you just kind of just hold your, your arm up like this and just take all of the weight, just imagine disconnecting your hand at the wrist and just letting it flop. It's just dead weight like that, right? Um, if you sort of feel around here, you'll feel that all of these muscles are super nice and loose and, um, you know, you're just kind of able to flop your hand around like a dead fish type thing. Now, if you take your, um, you take your arm now and you make a fist like that, make a tight fist, all of a sudden now, 
all of this tightens up, right? Now, when you're holding a stick, it's the exact same thing. If you have a super tight grip on a stick, all of these muscles are being engaged. And, you know, you're just kind of opening yourself up to, um, to a lot of injury when you really, don't, you really don't have to. There's no reason for you to physically have to play harder to get more volume. There, there, there's a specific way that you can get more volume out of your drums without physically hitting harder. And the way to do that is simply just learning how to employ the wrist, you know, getting familiar with the, uh, with the whole molar thing, and just learning how to snap the stick down from a higher height. The misconception is that if you want to get more volume, especially when you're cracking backbeats and stuff, um, the misconception is that if you want to get more volume, you, you hit the drum harder. But as far as getting more volume, the trick is not to bring the stick down harder. The trick is to bring it down faster, right? So volume comes from velocity. So if you're cracking backbeats, if you want to play louder, then all you really have to do is whip the stick down from the wrist to get all the volume that you need. And this is why, you know, like I said off the top, I'm able to keep everything right here because I can get all the volume that I want from this same position and it's just a matter of controlling the speed of the stick. Reason number two why it's super important to have a loose grip is that you have far better control when you have a loose grip on the stick. If you have any hopes at all of sounding as smooth as a Benny Greb or a Steve Gadd or, or any, you know, Steve Jordan or any one of those cats, um, if you have a tight grip, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen for you. You just, you have to loosen up. And, uh, and once you do that, like I said, you have much better control, especially at um, slower tempos. Because a lot of times it can be a little bit tricky to, um, to play technical if you have a, of a really tight grip. So if you're doing, you know, paradiddle stuff and, you know, all kinds of different sticking and things like that, at slower tempos, it's just going to sound rushed and stiff and, and all that kind of stuff. But if you're nice and loose and you're flowing, you're going to have way better control. Another important reason for having a loose grip is that it severely increases your dynamic range. So you can play from here to here in a split second because you got all the control that you need, right? So once you learn how to sort of relax, play from the wrist and, you know, snap that stick out for volume, the reason why that's important is because, you know, whether I'm playing from here or from here, you know what I'm saying? Like I can play super soft or I can play super loud without having to move from this spot, right? So that's why regardless of how soft or how loud I'm playing, my posture doesn't really change. So a loose grip just really, like I said, it severely increases your uh, dynamic range. And that overall will, will also have an effect on, uh, on how you sound. Reason number three. Reason number three is that the stick just bounces easier. And there's, you know, there's tons of advantages to that, especially if you aspire to be more of a technical drummer and employ a lot of rudiments while you're playing. The stick will bounce way easier if you have a loose grip. Like, that doesn't take any effort at all when you do that, right? So the thing about, um, the thing about holding a stick like that is that having a loose grip allows you to sort of enjoy and employ the weight of the stick when you play. The more you take advantage of the weight of the stick, the less you have to work to get the same result, right? So, you know, having a loose grip, when I stumbled onto this thing, 
there, there was a time where um, I couldn't use a 5B. 5B just felt like a tree trunk to me at one point. Uh, it just felt too heavy in my hands. And it's because I didn't really latch on to this idea yet. But once I did, you know, every stick that I'm holding feels the same. Aside from, you know, the, the slight weight difference. But, you know, a, a 7A stick or a 5B stick for me feels the same because I'm just, I'm using the, uh, the physical properties of the stick to get what I need out of it. And it's kind of weird to explain, but the stick just doesn't feel as heavy in my hands anymore. Um, because I'm sort of working with the weight of it, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, um, instead of just fighting with it to, to get what I need out of it. So this is important for me because, you know, I keep a few different sizes of sticks in my bag. And if I'm playing a big outdoor festival or something and I want to switch to 5Bs or something, then um, it's not going to feel any different than my, uh, than my 5As. So I can play still just as comfortable and, you know, use that full weight of the stick. And the other, the cool advantage of that is I can even get more volume without any more work than I used to use with my regular stick. Another super important reason why it's important to have a loose grip is because of the physical effect it has on your body. Loose grip means loose body. And when your whole body's loose, you're going to end up sounding a lot smoother on the drums. If your hands are nice and loose from the wrist, then it's impossible for the rest of your arm to be tight when your hands are loose. It's all connected, right? So, I mean, if your hands are loose, then your arms are going to be loose. And if you're feeling loose up here, then everything is going to be, your legs are going to be loose as well. So, you know, when you're playing your pedals, even that will feel better, right? But it all starts right here. So this is going to severely affect your flow around the drums because now, you know, your whole body is just sort of feeling nice and fluid and, um, and everything you play is going to end up sounding smooth. Like when you're holding the stick, man, it's like it's really the difference between this and this, right? So if you can get everything you need from this, then why do this? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once you learn how to, to, to hold that stick like that and stay nice and loose and everything, you're going to be totally surprised, man, how much better you end up sounding. So, food for thought, man. Just things that you can keep in mind while you're playing. Like I said, this is the most important lesson, I think, on my entire channel because the hands are the two things that are going to affect how you sound the most. I don't care how much chops you got or how fast you can play in your double pedals or whatever. Your hands are going to directly affect how you sound. If your hands are stiff, you're going to sound stiff. If your hands are loose, you're going to sound loose. Like it's really that simple. Now this doesn't mean that you can't take advantage of tension and add tension when you want it. I do that all the time. If you really want to play a super intense fill, and tighten up for a little bit to the point of even spasming out, you know what I mean, for a couple of seconds, you can do that. But come back to home base, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I'll do that. If I'm going to play a fill, I'll tighten up on the sticks for a little bit just to add that tension, and then I'll back it right off again and go right back to playing smooth. So. All my viewers out there that are checking this video out right now, I need you to do me a favor, man, because this is, a, this is something that I feel every single drummer that ever picks up a pair of sticks and decides to take it seriously needs to know. So, after you finish watching this video, share it somewhere. Facebook, Reddit, whatever you use to, um, whatever you want to use to spread the word. Share this video, man. Like, I really want as many drummers as possible to know this information. Um, because it's, like I said, it's super, super important. 
And it's really going to make you a better drummer at the end of the day, man. As soon as you latch on to this, I can't believe how much better I sounded, you know, once I, once I caught on to this idea. And, uh, and I've, I've stuck with it ever since. Now, maintaining a loose grip is something that, uh, that I've really sort of gotten used to doing in any kind of playing situation, especially on the stage. But sometimes I tend to forget. You know what I mean? Sometimes I need a little bit of coaching, something to remind me to keep my hands loose. And that's why I started doing this. So on my snare drums now, I just, uh, just write on a little white piece of tape, loose hands, and I just tape it right on the top of my snare. And it's kind of like a mental coach. You know what I mean? Somebody that's constantly in your ear, reminding you to keep your hands loose when you're playing. And I'm telling you, man, that little sort of mental exercise makes a big difference when you're on stage. Because you'll be in the moment, get a little bit excited, all you got to do is glance down, and it'll totally remind you, back off on the, on the tension a little bit, and keep those hands loose. So, if you're checking this video out, try it. Just write loose hands. Grab yourself a Sharpie or something, and just write loose hands on the top of your, uh, your snare drum. And take a picture of it. I think this will be cool. Take a picture of it, send it to me, put it on the Facebook page or something. I want to see how many people out there are using loose hands when they play. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to share it somewhere. Um, don't forget to check out the recommended, the other recommended videos that I'm going to tie to this particular video. Leave a comment below. I'm going to try to uh, respond to as many as I can. And that's it, man. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tell people where you learned it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.